Mildred, did yes. you know who our neighbor across the street is, or was? No, Kathy, who? It was Mary Johnston, and this is a picture of Mary Johnston right here. Is that the same Mary Johnston that wrote The Slave Ship? Yes, indeed it is. And what was that book about? Oh, it was about a, a colonial Virginia and an 18th century slave trade. Her next book was To Have and to Hold. Now, this book was a bestseller in 1902. And this is a original signature, and it was donated by the Woman's Club, which is two blocks down the road from the Richmond Public Library. And we are sitting outside the Richmond Public Library. Wow, she was really famous. Yes, yeah, she wrote uh, 23 novels, one play, and one, this book, uh, one of her novels was made into two films in the really? uh, early 20th century. So she was well known nationally, you know, to be on the bestseller list. And she made a lot of money considering the times, you know, to, to live, to have an apartment over at Linden Row across the street, and also a home in Warm Springs, Virginia, which is on the National Register. Wow. Well, that's very interesting. Two of the books she wrote about the Civil War, The Long Roll and Cease Fire, are considered the best non uh, fiction, best fiction books on the Civil War. Now, she was a very conflicted woman, like a lot of us are. She was entrenched in the South. Her father was a major, a Confederate artillery officer in the Confederacy. And one of her kinsmen, uh, kins one of her family members, was uh, General Joseph E. Johnston, who commanded an, uh, a Confederate army. Wow. So she was entrenched in the South, but traveling with her father, she saw how other women were treated. It gave her new perspectives on the South, so she wanted to improve it. And oh. how did she want to improve it? How do you think? Um, well, let's see. Slavery was already gone by the time she was born. Maybe she wanted to help get the vote out? Yes, she wanted to help the uh, black Americans, African Americans get the vote out. And this book, Hager, is considered an, almost an autobiography. And it's all about suffrage and her views. And when she wrote it, she had a lot of uh, backlash from her followers because this is not the genteel southern woman that they expected from Mary Johnston. Well, is this the same Mary Johnston that wrote a collection of short stories? Yes. Oh, I, I was reading this one, Nemesis, and it starts out this way. They said that the man, a black man, had done the crime. Perhaps he had, perhaps he had not. The probability seemed to indicate that he had but it is not certain, was not certain then, and is not certain now. Those who conducted the lynching proceeded, of course, upon the assumption that he was guilty. Wow, that's amazing that this was written so long ago, but it's so appropriate now. Yes, it is. Was she very well known for her views on the suffrage? Yes, she was very well known for her, her views on suffrage. She, um, she was invited to national associations. She was involved in national associations. And she marched in this parade, a famous parade, 1913. She oh. marched in that parade, and she was invited to speak as a, as a, at the last, one of the last events. So she had to be well known for them to ask her to speak there. She was committed to other reforms. Uh, but she was most committed to suffrage. She actually was a socialist. Really? But she didn't make it known because she, know, she knew if she made it known, that would jeopardize the suffrage mo movement and her role in the suffrage movement. Are any of these books, uh, can we borrow them from the library? First edition, some of these are first editions and they can't be borrowed. They're in the special collections, but you can welcome to come down and read them. And there are some books in our stacks that you can check out. Wow. 
Well, I, I think that more people should come down to the Richmond Public Library and check out books written by Mary Johnston, uh, early suffragette, suffragist, as you say, uh, a fighter for equal rights for not only white women, but black women and black men as well. And uh, if the, all the books are as interesting as the one I started to read, it could be very entertaining. Yes, I think it could be very entertaining. And both of us don't read much fiction, but this might be a way to draw us into fiction. To put down the liquor traffic, need it vex their souls. If we're angels, as they tell us, can we once suppose that all the men should frown on us when going to the polls? We love our boys, our household joys. We love our girls as well. The law of love is from above. Against that.